Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to take a look at Cardano and also Solana. The reason for that is, to be honest, not much has happened in the Cardano space since my last video, but I still wanted to give everybody an update who likes to watch these Cardano videos at this time of the day. We always start with Bitcoin, then we take a look at Cardano, and then we take a look at Solana. Solana was quite heavily requested today by a lot of you guys. So I give you another update video about what is going on with uh, Solana. And I also chose Solana because since my last update video, that I did a week ago, we are pretty much exactly there now in terms of price where I said we could go down to. So what is going to happen next? We will have a look. So let's start with Bitcoin. By the way, before we start, very importantly, um, because a few of my um, favorite crypto channels actually were banned recently, for my opinion, with no reason. One of them was actually reinstated. The other one, which is Cheeky Crypto, um, which is really a good channel. I mean, I don't watch them every day, but I've, um, I watched them even before I started my own crypto channel and they've just been banned today um, for whatever reason. But I don't think, I think the YouTube algorithm made a mistake. Um, but for that reason, and because it's just important to also be able to connect with you guys um, outside of YouTube, I've created a Facebook group. Um, I've created a face, sorry, I've created a Facebook uh, page. And I've created a, a Twitter channel. You can find now the links on my channel page. And I also put the links in the community section. So if you want to follow me there, please do so. Very important, just in case something unexpected happens. So let's start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin not doing a lot. Bitcoin continues to trade in this descending triangle. And to be honest, I won't spend much time here on Bitcoin. It's um, on the hourly chart here, not doing much. I think it will come down once more to the 40,000 700. Um, I did say in this earlier video today that we'd probably go up to this um, descending resistance line again, but we didn't even get there. So it is really weak. It is moving down slowly overall, you know, and that is actually quite healthy. We don't want a rapid sell off like this one here that we had on the 7th of September. We wanted to go down slowly until it then finally can recover. Um, that is more healthy than the other way, you know, than, than having a rapid sell off. But as I said, I expect another move down. Indicators haven't changed much to the last video, still showing no sign of recovery. All of the main indicators, the um, first of all, the price action. Then we have that bearish pattern of a descending triangle. Then we've got the RSI in the below 50 and um, the ADX giving us a short signal and also the MACD all in the red, which basically means that we are on our way down. And there is no trend reversal uh, to be seen at the moment. So it is continuing on its way down. I expect it very soon below 40K. Let's go over to Cardano. Also with Cardano, to be honest, not much happening. Not much happening today. I actually have the Binance chart open. I don't really want the Binance chart. Um, not, not much happened here on the Binance chart. So Binance, I used to track the Elliott waves. We are still in this C wave. And everybody who's been following me for a while knows that. I expect us to come down once more to um, 180, which is that Fibonacci retracement level, um, the golden pocket, the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level. So I think we'll come down at least to that point. If uh, we lose that level, we go down to 145. And I did make a very long video yesterday on the Elliott wave, so I'm not going to repeat all of that, but I'm going to take a look at the Kraken chart because that is the one where I've got all the patterns and lines and everything. So that is that one here on the one hour chart. I think that is the most important one at the moment because I talked about the daily one and not much has happened since then. So again, we tried to, um, we came down in this, um, you know, we, when we came down, hit that support zone at $2.03, we did a W pattern, came down horizontal support. Since then we tried a recovery pretty much all the way up to that level that I told you we would get up to, which is the 213. Um, no surprises there. And since then we failed to make a new high. We came down again, all the way again to that $2.03 level. So this now, you know, will be the decision point. Do we break down once more or will we come up once more? But to be honest, as I said before, this is all the noise that is currently going to happen before we're going to break down. At least I can't see a sign, a reversal coming at the moment. We can see that we came from this, um, you know, head and shoulders, we broke down. We haven't even hit the target level of the head and shoulders yet, um, which was at around 180. So we are currently just on our way down. 
um, the, the buyers try to push away the price from this support level again. They failed clearly because we didn't make a new high. We, we didn't manage to build that momentum to the upside. So, you know, it's quite a weak um, support here by the buyers. The price still tries to keep itself above $2, but I think it's only temporary. We'll come down once more to at around the 180 level. Again, I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I think this is uh, what is just playing out at the moment, what just has to happen for us to get to that trend recovery. And to be honest, guys, that is a healthy correction in a very, very long, uh, in a very strong uptrend that we saw uh, and that we still, still see on the long term. Yesterday, I talked about why we could get to $25 to $30 in the next, um, let's say five years for Cardano. That is a realistic price in my view, looking at um, where we are in terms of the Elliott waves. We are still very early in the uptrend. Yes, there will be up, ups and downs. It will be a roller coaster ride, but overall it goes to the upside. And um, of course that, that, that depends on the adoption and everything. But um, yeah, we can currently see continuing to, uh, you know, our way down perhaps tomorrow morning in my next update video we will already see each other below two dollars and so far that has all played out pretty accurately and also with Solana we are pretty much exactly there um, where I said we would be um, in my last update video which I did a week ago which is also why I do another update video today you know the thing is I pretty much have specialized here on Cardano look a lot at Bitcoin Cardano if I cover other cryptos that can be more inaccurate uh, generally because, you know, I don't look at these charts every day. You know, I'm not doing this full time at the moment, so I'm not looking at every chart all the time, all day. Um, but Cardano, I think I understand the chart very well, whereas Solana, I don't look at it very, every day. So please always, you know, do your own research and things like that. Um, but yeah, the last last time I, I did a video, I think we were... Um, that was a week ago. I don't remember which day it was. I would need to look it up again. I did look it up earlier today, but I, I can't remember which one it was, but it was a week ago. And back then I said um, that if we lose the 160 level, and I think we were probably up here somewhere. I said, if we lose the 160 level, then we would come down to $136. And where are we today? We are today at 134. Um, and we already were today at 136. So we're currently losing that support level as well. So the question is now, where can we get to? So if we just take a closer look at where we actually are on the daily, um, on the daily here, we can see that we actually came all the way up. You know, we made ridiculous gains this year. Ridiculous. There was a hundred X that we did this year. Absolutely ridiculous. More, more gains than, than we saw on Cardano, which was crazy in itself. But Solana made absolutely crazy gains um, this year. Um, we managed to get all the way up to um, nearly 200. I mean, we made more than 100x, but um, we came all the way up to nearly $220. So we came up to 216. Since then, obviously, when Bitcoin started to drop, we saw that correction here with Solana as well. And I think when we started to come down, you know, I did my first um, Solana video. I mean, I, my first Solana video, I think I did some sometime in June. Um, talked about the potential and then I did my first technical analysis one I think when we were just before we started to see that correction I told you to be careful and since then we've actually come down all the way um, there have been a few more updates along the way and we are currently trading here on the RSI on the daily in the bearish range below 50 yeah we've just come into that below 50 range actually we tried to get above it once more failed so we are currently in that um sideways movement and that we are in a sideways movement that is confirmed by the ADX. If the ADX here, which is the, um, yeah, it's a trend indicator and that is currently telling us that we are in a range market also on the daily, which is the longer term time frame. We are in a range market because we are below the 20 level, which just indicates, you know, if you're trading, you should then swap to a range market sideways movement strategy, not a trend following strategy, but you know, how many of you are trading? I don't know. Um, we are currently also, you know, we had a bearish crossover here on the 21st or 22nd of September, which is a short signal as well. So it's not looking good on the indicators. You know, it's pr looking still a little bit better than Bitcoin because we are more in a sideways move at the moment and not in a strong down, well, in a down, downwards move like Bitcoin is. Um, however, you know, these indicators here, we, we can see here the, um, the MACD line is going to cross the zero line very soon, very shortly. So that could be another sell signal. 
for um, Solana. And we are currently, well, we came actually all the way down to already 120 US dollars or 118 actually. And that was pretty much the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level where we found support. Since then we've bounced off that. And to be honest, I think we could come down once more. The next major support level will be here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level, which is at around $95. So I think, you know, if, if we break out and we're currently um, forming a breakout formation, um, and I, I, I think, and that's only based on, you know, the indicators which are showing a weakness, we're going to make a, uh, we cross the zero line to the downside here. I, I, I think we can drop once more. And as I said, we are going to form a breakout formation when we're going to take a closer look at that on the hourly chart. But if that breakout is happening, I I could see us drop to that, um, maybe even the $100 because that's a psychological mark, but certainly the 95 as well, because 95, it is that golden pocket. It is that important Fibonacci retracement level that, for example, Cardano will reach at 180. Bitcoin will reach at, I think, uh, around 37,000. I would need to have a look, but certainly Cardano will be there at 180 and Solana will be there at $95. However, if, if Solana gets there, that is quite a lot of a loss. So that is why Solana is quite, it's performing quite well actually compared to the other cryptos. It is still above the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level um, and it is currently performing a sideways movement. So let's take a look at the hourly chart and I'm going to delete here the, um, the Fibonacci levels because they just um, are in the way here a little bit. So we can see that we are very, very clearly forming a breakout formation here. So we are currently forming a um, symmetrical triangle, which is a trend continuation pattern. And let's just create that a little bit clearer here, more like that probably. So that indicates that we're making higher lows, but also lower highs. We're moving into that apex that could be going on for a little while. But I also think that if Bitcoin is actually going to break to the downside as I would expect it, then probably Solana will will follow as well. Um, what we can, what else can we see here? Well, I, I think, you know, as I said, if we manage to get into that apex here, um, then there could be that move to the downside to, to um, $94. And let me just take a look here. It's very, very distinct uh, formation that I can't see with Bitcoin at the moment. So, you know, Bitcoin is really trading in this descending wedge, which is actually a bullish pattern overall. But also within that, we're currently seeing that descending and triangle. Whereas here with Solana, we see this sideways movement and this clear move into that apex. So it's probably within, I would say, towards the end of this week, certainly there should be a breakout. Um, and does that go up or down? You know, again, nobody knows, but I would expect it to follow Bitcoin um, to the downside if Bitcoin goes once more to the downside and then we can expect a move down to $95. Um, just another look at the daily because we fell actually below the 20 day moving average. So in the short term, we are actually in that downtrend. Um, we are still above the 50 day moving average. So actually before dropping to 95, we could actually find support here currently at $118 again, which is the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which is that previous low as well. Um, that is probably the first instance of support, especially because the 50 day moving average is there as well. So possibly before we drop to, down to 95, we will find support here and maybe that is as low as Solana will go. And these would be really good prices. And in my view, to be honest, with everything that's going on in the Solana ecosystem, you know, with NFT projects, and I think they've got over 100, probably even more um, projects already being built on the Solana blockchain. This is, in my view, these are currently good, good prices to buy, but um, this is no financial advice. And, you know, nobody knows if we are going to get into a new crypto winter now. Nobody knows. I think it's highly unlikely, but it could happen. So, you know, to be on the safe side, and it, it all depends on your strategy. But one strategy would be to wait for a, a you know a significant breakout to the upside um, to really get the confirmation that we are actually in an uptrend again. And um, I certainly will make you aware as soon as that happens. For that, actually, quite a bit would need to happen. Bitcoin would need to go go about uh, over I think forty eight thousand five hundred. You know, Cardano would need to go about I think it was one sixty five and close that candle there. I think with Solana, I would want it to see above 170 here closing. Um, so yeah, at the moment, 
you know, if you dollar cost averaging, I am, you know, not particularly into Solana, but I think I will, um, I will add a bit more to my portfolio here for Solana. So um, these are good prices in my view, and um, especially, especially in the long term. So yeah, for everybody who you know hoped for a Solana video today, hopefully that was uh, helpful. Also for everybody who liked the Cardano videos, I hope it was really helpful. Let me know if you want to see any other cryptos. Hope um, hope you liked the video. If you did, please smash the like button. Please start to follow me on the social media and see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.